Hello everyone, I cordially welcome you all to another video from the React tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss on hooks in functional components. So basically what are hooks? Hooks are basically functions which are used to do some special tasks in React. In React there are some inbuilt hooks which we can use and even we have the power to create custom hooks. So as I have told hooks are basically functions. So let's discuss what are functions in React. So what are functions? Like any other programming language, functions are basically a block of code which are written only once and can be called many times in the main code so perform certain tasks. So as we are not repeating the same code again and again, it adheres to our do not repeat principle. This increases code usability, thus React's components are usable as well. In the previous video, we have learned about functional components in React. The functional components are basically functions which return some UI. Basically, as I said, which return some JSX that actually gets rendered on the browser as the user interface. So as functions are reusable, similarly functional components are also reusable. So you might think then why hooks are required? So before the introduction of hooks in React 16.8, Class components were used to make stateful components and function components were used to make stateless components. Stateful component means the components could maintain a local state apart from the global application state. On the other hand, stateless components are basically pure function which for some input produces the same output. But after the introduction of hooks, developers could use state and separate the logic for maintenance of state and side effects from the main component. Hence, making them stateless which further increases code reusability. Besides this, they help the developers to hook into React state and lifecycle features from functional components. Okay, So if we have watched our previous two videos, we have discussed on class components and function components. There I have told multiple times that class components were used to make stateful components. They had a lot of inbuilt methods which could handle state and which could handle the lifecycle method in a React component. But in the functional component, there was no such methods available. But with the introduction of hooks in React version 16.8, the hooks were introduced, which actually enabled us to use the benefits of class components in functional components. Thus, we could use functional component and could customize it as per our requirement. And due to this only, keeping pace with time, the usage of functional components has increased many folds. One thing you must know that hooks are never used in class components. They are only used in functional components. And another thing is that hooks are always backward compatible. So even if after React 16.8, if new versions of React are introduced, then hooks will be compatible there also. Okay. So this is what this video stands for. In this video, we won't deep dive into the different type of hooks and custom hook. We will cover those topics in one of our upcoming videos. The aim of this video was to educate our viewers about what are hooks and why they were a requirement with respect to functional component. So I hope you find this video informative. If you find this video informative, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We are going to bring up more videos in the upcoming future. For any queries, doubts or feedbacks, feel free to post in the comment section. Thank you for now. See you in the next video. Bye.